This idyllic stretch of tracks in Dutchess County, New York, may look harmless enough, but when your legs are three inches long, these rails can become a death trap. Three females had already died. I discovered their bodies out here between the tracks and animals that I had known for some time. Michael Musnick knew the turtles because he's out here every day tracking them. It's getting weaker there, so it's straight ahead here. He's a citizen scientist who got a grant to put radio transmitters on wood turtles in the Great Swamp, a stretch of wetland about 60 miles north of New York City. This is the transmitter, and this is the antenna. If you're wondering why Michael volunteers to come out here every day, it's simple. Cute factor. Um, <laughs> they're adorable. What can I say? In addition to being adorable, wood turtles are designated a species of special concern in New York. Jim Utter, a professor of environmental sciences at Purchase College, explains. A major part of the reason for their declining is the habitat destruction, cutting it with roads and, and railroads. Once the habitat is gone and they're seeking out a new place to live, they're going to be forced to cross these, these blacktops. And that's one of the great dangers for them. The problem with crossing the tracks isn't that they get run over, it's that they get stuck. The turtle will be walking along here and then he tries to get up and over and he'll get his front paws on here. This is very hot in the middle of the summer, it's very slippery. And uh, at a certain point when the sun goes overhead and it gets warm enough, they perish from the heat, usually in the midday sun. I made an attempt to try to find a solution. Michael's solution was basically tiny turtle bridges, mounds of gravel that would let the turtles escape the rails. And um, took a turtle out of the wild, put him in there, and uh, he used it. And this is a very simple solution. And the outcome can be a model for working it throughout the country. The simple, effective combo was convincing enough to New York's Metropolitan Transportation Authority to do a test run of these bridges. Metro North decided to go ahead and um, put these gravel exits approximately every 50 feet. And since they were installed, Michael hasn't found a single dead turtle in the tracks. Let's see if we can find another one here. For Science Friday, I'm Flora Lichtman.